Welcome to EDU TV with 4.5 lakh plus viewers and over 1500 educational repositories across the world. The founder is Mr. Pranav Guha Thakarada and co-founder is Ms. Tanya Sefi. <laughs> everyone, this is Tanya here from Edu TV, and today we have with us Professor Jagdish Shet. He is a renowned scholar and is internationally recognized. Having published more than 300 research papers, he is a well-known person in the education fraternity. Thank you for giving us your time, sir. Uh, Jagdish, sir, like you are um, currently in the US and uh, like I mentioned, you've, you've got more than 300 research papers. Talking about the current education scenario, what, according to you, are the major changes in the landscape of the education currently? Talking about both school as well as the higher education, please. I think primarily in the school education, the high school last three years have become very different than what they used to be. For example, today in most high schools, it is almost a requirement that you do some sort of a public service, community service in addition to typical courses that you take, classes that you take and prepare for ACT or SAT examinations to get into college. The top universities today, at least in the US, are requiring that you have the empathy for the masses through civil service or community service primarily. And that adds quite a lot. Did you take a leadership role or not? Which is very important, which we never thought about at one time that that will be a component for admission to top universities, such as Stanford, for example, MIT, Harvard, the typical well-known universities. So that's clearly one change. The second change in the school level is that the knowledge is becoming uh, declining. Knowledge is a very depreciative asset. Half-life of knowledge is getting shorter and shorter. And therefore the curriculum at the school level needs to be updated, upgraded at least if nothing else because the change is so rapid, and unfortunately, in terms of the impact of digital technology, and everybody's behind, doesn't matter who you are, but at the school level, it's even more relevant because the students are ahead of the teacher. Students know more about the technology, they know more about social media, they know TikTok better than anybody else, you know, it just goes on and on. So given that, it looks like the teachers and the administration are remaining behind which is a major change that one has to talk about. The third thing is that there is no some such thing as where you start something and say, I want to be an engineer or I want to be a liberal arts, social sciences, whatever the disciplines are. I think the students are discovering what they want to do after they go to college, which is creating a significant change if you're primarily in engineering school, let's say Georgia Tech, for example, Carnegie Mellon, for example, because you don't know whether you want to be an engineer or a scientist till after you reach the college. So there's a whole issue there that's becoming pretty interesting. At the same time, at least in the US scenario, the high schools are becoming a major maturity level. In other words, you don't mature at a college level, but you are becoming more mature student at a much younger age because they're given more responsibilities. Those are the changes at the school level that I see. Welcome to EDU TV with 4.5 lakh plus viewers and over 1500 educational repositories across the world. The founder is Mr. Pranav Guha Thakarada and co-founder is Ms. Tanya Sefi.